A group that supports bicyclists says a deadly crash last weekend is not an isolated incident. Go Bike Buffalo says more than 160 people, both pedestrians and cyclists, have been hit by a car on Bailey Avenue in the last five years alone. Gilad Malamed looks at how cars and bikes can share the road safely. The combination of COVID-19 and warmer weather has led to more bikes on the road. We're seeing a bicycling boom. Justin Booth is the executive director of Go Bike Buffalo and is on the city's pedestrian and bicycle advisory board. We're not doing enough in terms of making our, investing in making our streets safe just through some paint and some basic infrastructure. He says that includes more bike lanes and road markings. He recently pushed the Department of Public Works for a lane on Carolina Street. What we're seeing, and we see this across national data as well, is that you know low-income people of color um, are you know in those neighborhoods where they live are the places where we have some of the highest instances of people being hit by cars. The DPW commissioner says the department is listening and working with the bicycle and pedestrian community. This map shows current bike lanes from the city's open data website. George Johnson is the president of the East Side Bike Club and also sits on the city's pedestrian board. He says the lack of lanes has volunteers stepping up. They was trying to put striping in different places and things of this nature. That shouldn't be happening. You know, we, we shouldn't have to have our volunteers try to strike the, strike the streets and make it safe. Johnson says there needs to be more bike lanes across the city, but particularly at this busy intersection, Bailey and Delavan Avenue. As far as I'm concerned, I think that it's one of the most dangerous. Go Bike Buffalo says there have been 40 bicycle crashes along Bailey Avenue over the past five years. The DPW commissioner says the city and others are studying improvements to Bailey Avenue and findings should be released this summer. Johnson hopes the plan includes a fresh coat of green paint. And we just want to make it safe. In Buffalo, Gilat Malamed, 7 Eyewitness News.